Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. We're going to discuss well, basically uh, how to replace the Samsung S voice with Google Voice Search in the Samsung Galaxy S4. I recently got this and I didn't like the default Samsung S voice, so then I thought, well, uh, well, I want to just basically use the default voice search when I when you double click the home screen. So what I mean by that, I'll just drag this in here. Here's my S4 that I'm using right now. I'm I'm using a program actually to control this. I'll do another video on it later. Basically called Team uh, Viewer here. So it's, I'm controlling my S4. So let's just go over to uh, the shortcut here. So basically, how to make it? So if I press double click right here, it's going to go to the Samsung S Voice. I want to use the Voice Search. So I like this one better. So let's just double click this Home one or your Home button on your S4. So this comes up and this is the S Voice. I don't like it. Uh, I want to double click and uh, not get this one. Let's just press home again. Okay, so home's out. So the way to do this is, well, you could actually open the S voice right here. Let's open it and then go to uh, the left click, this button. Just go to settings. So the way, you, so what I'm doing is basically making it so it doesn't open up. So open up via the home key, open S voice by double pressing the home, home key. Let's turn that off. So that's the first thing to do. So now that it's off, I can, let's just go back to home. Now I can uh, I download this Home 2 shortcut. Uh, this is an app just download in the Play Store. Let's just click, and this is the t Team Viewer Quick Support. Uh, I'll do another video on this and how on how to basically uh, connect to your S4 controls from your computer. So let's just double click this or, or one click. So choose application. Oh, I accidentally double click. So just cancel. So this is the how it looks like. So what you do here, this one is basically how to make shortcuts for any of these uh, these six shortcuts right here. This is home key and home key, you get an app. This is home key, then pl then press search key, etc. I'm not gonna go over these, I'm just gonna go over the, the double click home key. So first step is just choose application. I already have it on voice search. So step one, you just go install the applications or plugins, you can make it go to anything. So we'll go to uh, basically voice search, just click it here, okay. So it's at voice search, other key settings are basically uh, the, any of these ones here, but the home key is just a default step one, so ignore that. And now let's just click on, now you could ch press the how the double tap interval, just make it normal, you could play around with it later. And then now you have to choose a home application. The home one is better, basically whatever the home screen is, you could download different themes, it'll have different ones. When you click choose home, the touch whiz is the, the standard one. The easy launcher is basically a it's different theme. It's already default in your S4. I'll just stick with the touch whiz uh, home. Just click OK. And now when you press the close button, uh, set default home application basically to this home shortcut here. So if you get close, I already uh, clicked it on default one. I already clicked it. Uh, so you could just make sure to click the default there. Uh, if it pops up, but anyway, so now if I double click this, there's the Google Voice Search. That's uh, what I wanted to, to show basically, and it's saying exactly what I'm talking right now. That's pretty sweet, actually. <laughs> Anyways, I'll just close this. Well, that's all for today. Actually, uh, this was just a quick video I want to to do on this one because I really like the voice search, and you saw how pretty accurate it was on the voice search I would recognize my voice and then next video I'll do uh, actually on team view quick support uh, to download this one and basically run it to control any of your Android phones well that's all for today hopefully you learned and stay tuned for another math easy solution